Grace and peace to you on this 30th day of Lent as we continue in our Lenten series, Being a Christian, Advice from Paul in Romans 12. Today we focus on verse 16 and harmony. Before I read this verse, I invite you to pause for a moment, settle in, and open your heart and mind to hear the word of the Lord. Romans 12, 16. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. And do not claim to be wiser than you are. The Reverend Joseph A. Ferrante, a saint of God who went home to the Lord several years ago, was the pastor of the Assembly of God Church in which I grew up. And I remember he would address quarrels within the church, whether Christians should celebrate New Year's Eve with champagne or sparkling apple cider, whether visitors or members should get the best spot in the parking lot, how many and what kind of songs we would sing in worship. With the motto of the Moravian Church, in essentials, unity. In non-essentials, liberty. In all things, charity. In other words, discern and hold to what is truly important. Let go of what truly isn't. And no matter what, love each other. In the words of William Berry, Christians believe that God has revealed his intentions. God, it seems, creates this universe to invite all persons to enter the community of the life of the Trinity, the perfect communion of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God wants all persons to live as sisters and brothers of Jesus in harmony with the whole created universe. How might you bring more harmony into your life? Let us pray. Gracious God, move us to embrace all that fosters the loving harmony you desire. Amen. <laughs> 